In the dark waters of the North Atlantic, the great passenger liner RMS Titanic came to a violent and mysterious end. Each of her passengers, unwitting players in a harrowing drama. The builder who would pronounce her dead. The brave men who refused to let her die. Thousands of people who struggled for their lives. Now, for the first time, a prominent Titanic historian will retell her tragic tale from the ship's actual decks. Haunting locations will take us back to pivotal moments during the epic disaster. Newly discovered artifacts are helping to piece together Titanic's untold stories. It's a moment in history we're still striving to understand. A part of our past impossible to forget. On the French research vessel Nadir, a countdown begins. The crew prepares for an unprecedented dive to one of the greatest shipwrecks in history, RMS Titanic. On Nadir's fantail, a prototype submersible, Nautil, is run through a final series of systems checks. She is one of a few submersibles able to dive more than 12,000 feet to reach Titanic. Historian Charles Haas is leading today's dive. His mission, to document key sites on the ship where critical events unfolded. To Haas, Titanic is a dramatic stage but it is the characters in the tragedy who draw him in. I think in order to get a full picture of what that night was like, you need to know the people who were involved in that situation. By knowing the, the characters in the drama, by knowing the people, you get a much better insight into the, the great drama of that night. As part of Haas's mission, he will also look for artifacts, personal objects which may provide clues to Titanic's story. When Nortil leaves these decks, she will drop two and a half miles into the Atlantic, into a hostile world. place of freezing temperatures, bone-crushing pressure, and desolate darkness. If something goes wrong at the site, there is no chance of a rescue. In the control room, Nortil's position will be monitored by expedition leader George Tullock. I'm really proud of this expedition and this team. It's just a wonderful thing to be a part of. The Titanic is the piece of our history, and it, it's just special in every direction. 
Tullock is joined by Titanic historian and Haas's writing partner, Jack Eaton. There are many things that still can be learned from Titanic, from the disaster, from the recollection of the people and of the events. There are some major mysteries that are still unsolved. From the bridge, the crew watches as Nortil free falls to Titanic. A ship still giving up her secrets. For historians studying Titanic, much of what they know is based on testimony taken after the disaster. Hearings were held in both the United States and Britain, which investigated the reason for her sinking. Additional evidence turned up in rare diaries and letters. Now, artifacts retrieved from the ocean floor let us study tangible pieces of lost history. In their research, historians have learned most about passengers who traveled lavishly in first and second class. People such as Emily Ryerson and Lawrence Beasley have given us a glimpse of what that horrific night was like. Remarkably, personal accounts of Titanic continue to surface. New witnesses are emerging. Their stories have rarely been heard. As the submersible Nortil descends to Titanic, the crew prepares for arrival at the site. Approach to the Titanic is is pretty much like hovering over a beach in a helicopter. You see the sand rolling under you, and you're navigating forward at maybe two or three miles an hour. All of a sudden you see this immense object. And, and it is so, so immense that it completely fills the, the viewport. Your first reaction is, it's almost an automatic, oh my God. Titanic is it's still a very, very beautiful ship to see. The lines are, are so beautiful underwater. And there's an awe or a, a reverence or a silence from realizing what occurred on these decks. Human stories of, of personal tragedy that literally happened within the space that you can now see. On April 4th, 1912, at midnight, Titanic docks at Southampton, England, where her first passengers will board. Under the direction of Haas, the crew of Nortil moves to the very spot where travelers first embarked. 